Welcome back to American Agenda. Bob Sellers here with Allison Maloney. One of the teenage girls involved in the brutal death of Washington, D.C. Uber Eats driver Muhammad Anwar is sentenced to a maximum punishment, maximum of seven years of juvenile detention. Just 14 years old, she'll be released when she's 21. During the sentencing hearing, Anwar's daughter scolded the city, saying the law there had failed her father and then asked the court, is the law protecting the teen girls or the Uber driver and his family. The other girl in the case was also sentenced in juvenile detention in June and will be also released upon turning 21. Here's what bothers me uh, about this, Derek. Um, these girls know that what they did was wrong. It's not like they were so young they didn't know this. And to get that kind of punishment, they're basically, I don't know that they thought of this ahead of time, but they didn't look like they were threatened by the system, if you will, and the system now is going to let them out at the very least. They're, they're going to be out before they're 21, and then it's all strings unattached at 21. Yeah, Bob, I'm very familiar with this case. Um, initially, they were not even going to charge them um, right. as, as what they were. And so carjacking is a huge issue right here in Washington, D.C. right now. As a matter of fact, uh, a friend of mine, Easy Street, who's on the air here in Washington, D.C., he just launched a campaign um, to uh, bring awareness to the carjacking issue because it's so bad here in Washington, D.C. right now. But right, what, the thing about it is when they, when these kids are carjacking these, these, these individuals for these vehicles, the police can't even hold them. In the District of Columbia, when, they, when these girls carjacked this guy, they couldn't even hold these girls for 24 hours. So right now, we the laws and what these the crimes and the laws are not fitting. Right, and right. So That's what it is. Justice. Because right. I've always thought you use the magic word justice. I feel like people are not seeing justice, and that's what they want to see. Uh, we're short on time because uh, we talked so much to the mayor, as, which is natural. We would do that. Let's take a break and continue this conversation on the other side about this and, and get uh, some thoughts from the rest of our panel after this. Stay with us, folks.